Hey guys, welcome to my review of Hacking the Code of Life. Now, my main problem with this book is that it is rather short. It isn't able to go into a lot of detail, and it's a strange mix of feeling like the main details it goes into, explaining how CRISPR and Cas9 works, isn't done very well. I actually found myself looking at a YouTube video to explain how it works. And I'm gonna put a link to that in the eye in the corner so you can get an understanding, because if you wanna read this book, you probably should watch that video first. And I think that says something about this book, that the main thing it tries to explain, I don't think it explains particularly well, it tries to go through a timeline of how something was discovered, which is good because it, it speaks to the reality that scientists don't aspire to create the world's best DNA editing tool. It just sort of happens by fluke, like the discovery of penicillin by Alexander Fleming. But the problem is, if you're trying to understand something, it's easy if you just have something explained rationally the first time before you see it constructed, because the reality is, it takes scientists a long time to come up with the discoveries, and forcing it all in at once into someone's mind, I think, makes it rather clunky. So I found that quite hard to follow, and I'm someone who has actually done scientific lectures on this type of thing before. Now, talking about the applications of this, a lot of them I'd heard before in magazines like The New Scientist. However, there were a nice golden rice. Yes, I've heard of that, but it is nice to hear someone go into more detail, and it really inspires the imagination of where things could go. This is basically about the project. It's not fully science. It talks about the fact that the main people who seem to be making you money on CRISPR at the moment are the lawyers arguing over patents. And I'll be honest, it was a strange mix of confusion and boredom. I'm not really interested in that. I'm someone who wants to be blown away by all the things we can do with science. And honestly, this list wasn't exhaustive. It was some of the main ones which you've probably heard of before if you've done anything in the sciences. It was things like, let's screw around with malaria. Okay, I've heard of that before. The idea is using double sex to make the females infertile. But again, when I was reading about that, I found I had to read it a couple of times to understand it. Whereas in the past, I found I've been very good at absorbing scientific knowledge. I, I have a degree in biomedical science. There's a lot of things explained, and what is explained, I don't think it's explained extraordinarily well. This is probably going to be a mostly negative review, and I'm, I, I'm ashamed to say that because a reality is it's a good book, it's a good idea. A short, simple book that should have been for the layperson to explain the problem that is going on in science. However, my concern is that it doesn't do that. It's too complicated. It's not new enough for people who do have an understanding of the science. And for such a small book to be so goddamn flimsy in terms of how it explains it is a bit disappointing. Now, the author has written books like The Epigenetic Revolution, which are very timely and very important. It shows how genetics isn't the only thing there. It has talked about things about how maybe we could use it one day to let gay people have children. Although, for the moment, the research says it would be easier to get two female mice to have children than two male mice. Largely because of epigenetic reasons, most of which she doesn't actually go into. But it's also stressed that that is extraordinarily unlikely to happen within our lifetime. So that's the thing, you can probably guess that I'm telling you not to get this book. I honestly think you could have more fun learning about CRISPR and DNA editing on YouTube than you would in the hours it would take you to read this book. I, I genuinely believe that, and you could spend no money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a video or two up in the eye in the corner, and if you're so interested in getting this book, I'd recommend you watch those videos instead. It will be more informative, and frankly, I, I just think it would be more enjoyable. Okay, guys, I don't like tearing into books. I don't like being negative in reviews. I try and avoid it when possible, and I feel like there are going to be people who are really connected with this book, and it's really worked for them. So if you are one of those people, please try and convince me why this is a great book in the comment section. Please tell me what you think, because I would like to have my opinion changed. I think it's unlikely, but I'd like to hear an opinion of someone who has enjoyed this book, who thinks it's great. Or, you know, if you agree with me and you think this book is terrible, by all means tell me. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Hey, guys, if you want to subscribe, remember to click the bell. This will notify you when I put a new video up, so you can catch it as soon as it comes out. And if you like my videos, maybe you leave a like, tell me what you thought in the comments section, I want to hear your opinion, tell me what you think. Okay guys, I hope you have a great day.